Hello everyone, my name is Eric Siri, Product Manager here at Sonosim. Today I'm going to show you how Sonosim is helping Sim Centers and ultrasound educators stay connected with their learners by using a flexible suite of ultrasound training tools that allow for remote learning and live instruction. I'm going to show you how you can use Sonosim LiveScan with Case Builder to run remote simulations. Sonosim LiveScan allows you to teach your learners to integrate ultrasound findings into their medical decision making by letting them scan real patient ultrasound data sets with real pathology such as this case that demonstrates echo findings consistent with cardiac tamponade physiology. To run your remote simulation, you'll need four things. One, your Sonosim LiveScan tags. Two, Sonosim LiveScan Pro. Three, a computer. And four, a mock ultrasound patient. If you are in a sim center, you can place the Sonosim LiveScan tags on any mannequin. Otherwise, you can place them on a live volunteer. You can even place them on yourself. You can even place the tags on a stuffed animal, like my friend here. With Sonosim LiveScan, all of these can be instantly transformed into an ultrasound training patient with pathologic conditions. Next, you will need to choose a case. Sonosim LiveScan has a large selection of pre-built cases broken up into categories, trauma care, critical care, cardiac resuscitation, genitourinary, hepatobiliary, ocular, early and late stage pregnancy, and neonatal and infant neurosonography. Each case has a patient history, as well as videos describing each ultrasound window in detail. We do see that this is a large pericardial effusion, and I think we're seeing diastolic right ventricular collapse. Let's see what happens as the movie starts rolling some more. Notice what's happening to the apex of the heart. It is moving everywhere. This is a swinging heart. If you don't find a pre-built case that meets your training needs, you can create your own using Sonos and Case Builder. With Case Builder, you can pick from different imaging windows with pathology and create over 1 million unique training cases. Simply choose what kind of pathology you want your training case to have. For instance, if you want to simulate the sonographic assessment of a COVID rule-out patient, you can select lung windows and look to identify relevant pathologic findings, such as B-lines or focal or diffuse consolidations. Once you have added all the windows for your remote simulation case, you can add a case title, a case history, and then access it in Sonos and LiveScan. When your case is ready, start up any video conferencing software and you are ready to start your remote simulation. Hello well, everyone, uh, it's good to see you. Glad that we're able to join each other remotely here for this remote simulation using Sonos and LiveScan. Uh, have a COVID-19 rule out patient for you all today. You can see the history right there. This is an elderly nursing home patient. History of diabetes, hypertension, presents with fever, cough, and hypoxemia. You can see the vitals right there. I'm just gonna ask you to tell me where to scan. I have the Sonosim live scan tags on me, so I'm gonna be scanning myself. So let's start with Jess. Can you go ahead and tell me uh, where you want me to scan? Um, okay, so can given that this patient has a cough, can we start with the lungs? Let's start with imaging the right lung. Okay, so we're seeing multiple B lines here. Can we use M mode? Can we turn on M mode to confirm lung sliding? Okay. So it looks like positive lung sliding. Let's move over to the left lung. Okay. And turn into transverse, please. Sure. So again, seeing multiple B lines here. Could we look at the heart next from the peristernal window? So it seems like there's normal left ventricular ejection fraction and overall cardiac function. Okay, so based on what you've seen, uh, what are you thinking that this might be? Well, in the context of an elderly nursing home patient who's presenting with fevers and cough, it could be consistent with diffuse alveolar interstitial syndrome which could also be suggestive of widespread involvement of both lungs due to COVID-19 infection. Alternatively, another viral pneumonia could be the explanation. Okay, and what makes you think it's not pulmonary fibrosis, CHF? It could be, but based on the clinical context and the normal limited echo findings, it's less supportive of those etiologies. Okay, so as you saw, Jess did a great job there. She identified the B lines um, in both lungs. She saw that the heart was normal. Um, so do you have any questions, anyone? 
All right, we'll go on and move on to the next case. We hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions on how to integrate Sonosim LiveScan and Case Builder into your training, please let us know.